Hello everyone, welcome back to Padly and today our topic is how to automate your LinkedIn posts with Perplexity AI. So I'm regularly posting on my LinkedIn account and now what I want to do is I automatically want to do this with the help of Perplexity AI. So here what I need to do is that in my Google Sheet I'm going to add the detail of my articles like article link and article title and as I'm going to do add those details then automatically I want to summarize these articles and I want to create the content for my LinkedIn post by using Perplexity AI. So after generating that content I automatically want to create a new post in LinkedIn. So here for my objective what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Google Sheets, Perplexity and LinkedIn. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pably Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pably Connect, what I'm going to do is that as I'm going to add a new article in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using Perplexity AI, I'm going to generate the content for my LinkedIn post. And after generating that content, I'm going to create a new post in my LinkedIn account. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can automate LinkedIn posts using Perplexity AI and Pably Connect. So imagine here I regularly post content on my LinkedIn account and I want to automate the process of generating and posting engaging content. So for this I have some articles, topics and article links in my Google Sheet but creating engaging posts manually takes time. So by using Perplexity AI I can automate the process of summarizing the article content and transforming into my LinkedIn ready post and posting it automatically on my LinkedIn account. So by integrating Perplexity AI, Google Sheets and LinkedIn with Pably Connect, I can pull the article details from Google Sheets and I can automatically generate LinkedIn posts by using Perplexity AI and publish them on my LinkedIn automatically. So here for this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a connection between Google Sheets, Perplexity and LinkedIn and automatically as I'm going to add a new link of an article in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using perplexity, I'm going to first summarize that article and I'm going to create a LinkedIn post from that article and automatically I can post that on my LinkedIn account. So here for my objective, I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills, just with the help of Pably Connect. So here with Pably Connect, I'm going to build this connection and this automation without any coding and programming skills. And for using Pably Connect, I just need to open a new tab. And here I need to search for pably.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pably Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pably Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button. And this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pably offers and we are going to use Pably Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this access now button under Pably Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pably Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to Automate your LinkedIn posts with Perplexity AI. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pably Connect account. And in this, I have this particular folder of Perplexity AI. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window for our workflow. And here in this window, I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principle on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow. And action is just going to follow that. So we need to first set up my trigger. And here in our workflow, we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action steps. So here first for setting up my trigger, I need to first search for my trigger application. And here my trigger application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to search for that. And I need to select Google Sheets here. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A newer updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to connect Google Sheets with Pably Connect in my workflow. 
and for that I need to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Now for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. And now I need to take you to my Google Sheet. And here in my Google Sheet, I have this particular spreadsheet that is named as LinkedIn Posts. So here in this particular Google Sheet, I'm going to add the article details that I want to use to create my LinkedIn post. And now what I need to do is I need to connect this spreadsheet with Public Connect so that every time I'm going to add a new article detail in a new row, then automatically the detail of that article with the article link will be sent to Public Connect. So for connecting my spreadsheet, I need to go to extensions. And here I need this particular extension of Public Connect Webhooks. But if we don't have this extension, then what we need to do is we need to go to add-ons and we need to click on get add-ons. Now here it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Now in this, what I need to do is I need to search for my extension that is Public Connect Webhooks. And here I will see my extension like this. So I need to first install this extension and I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. And after installing the extension, we need to first refresh our spreadsheet. And after refreshing the spreadsheet, we need to go back to extensions. And here in extension, we will see our extension of Public Connect Webhooks in this list. Now in Public Connect Webhooks, I need to open Initial Setup. And now by using Initial Setup, I can connect my spreadsheet with Public Connect or I can connect the sheet that I have in my particular spreadsheet with Public Connect. So here I'm going to connect this sheet one that is the only sheet that I have in my spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. So here first I need to give my Vabook URL. So I'm going to paste my Vabook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste that Vabook URL here in this tab. Now I have added my Vabook URL. Now I have to give my trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Vabook URL. So here in my spreadsheet, I have this last data entry column that is column B. So I'm going to use this column as my trigger column. And now what is going to happen is that the data will be filled in this particular column. Then automatically the data of that whole row will be sent to Pabli Connect. So here my trigger column is going to be column B. So I'm going to type that. And now I have to click on send test. And here my test data has been sent successfully. Now here I've sent the data of the first row that I've added with the article link and the article title in my spreadsheet. And I've sent that as a test data to Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on submit and here my setup is configured successfully. Now I'm going to close this and with my spreadsheet, I want one more thing that as I'm going to add the new rows with my article details, then automatically I want those article detail or that row detail to be sent immediately to Pabli Connect. So for this, what I need to do is I need to go to extensions. I need to go to Pabli Connect Webhooks one more time. And here I need to enable this option of send on event. So I'm going to enable this. And now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to add the detail of a new article in my new row in this particular spreadsheet, then automatically the data of that row or that article will be sent to Pabli Connect and that will be happening immediately. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect and here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response and in this response, I have the detail of my article. So here I have my trigger column that is column B. I have the spreadsheet name that is LinkedIn post. I have my sheet name that is sheet one. Also here I have my article title. So this is my article title that is IBM will train you in AI fundamentals for free and give you a skill credential in 10 hours. Also here I have my article link. So this is the link of my article. Now what I need to do is I need to use perplexity AI and by using perplexity AI, I want to summarize this article and I want to get the key points and I want to create a new LinkedIn post so that I can post that on my LinkedIn account. So here for summarizing my article and creating a LinkedIn post, I'm going to set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab and here in my action application, I'm going to search for perplexity. So I'm going to search for that. And here I'm going to select perplexity AI. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create chat completion will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect perplexity AI with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And here for connecting perplexity AI with Pabli Connect in my workflow, I need to give a token. So how am I going to get this token? For that, I need to first log into my perplexity AI account. And then I need to navigate to settings where I will find my API section and I need to generate a new API key. So for this, let me take you back to perplexity AI. 
and here I need to go to settings. So I'm going to open that. And now here in settings, we can see I have this option of API. So I'm going to open that. And here in API, what I need to do is I need to generate a new API key. So for that, I'm going to click on this generate button. And here I have successfully generated this API key. Now I'm going to copy this. I will go back to Pavli Connect and I'm going to paste that API key here in this token tab. So I'm going to paste that here and I'm going to click on save. And here I've connected Perplexity AI with Pavli Connect in my workflow. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my model. So I'm going to open this tab and here I want to use this Sonar Large 128K online model. So I'm going to select that. So here this is going to be my model that I want to use, but you can select any model that you want to use. Now I need to select my role and here I'm going to use user as my role. Now I have to give my content user. So here in the content user tab, I need to give my prompt that I want to use for generating my content for my LinkedIn post. So here my content will be, here's the link to an article. And after this colon, I'm going to add my article link from my Google sheet. Also, this is my prompt that says, please summarize this article and create content for a LinkedIn post. Keep the formatting as plain text without bolding or highlighting any text or header. Strictly avoid adding any special characters such as star star for bold text in the post content or headers as I will be using the same content for my LinkedIn post. Only give me the content for my post. So here this is going to be my prompt and here I have given this prompt so that I can only get the content for my LinkedIn post. So here I have kept my LinkedIn post as plain without any bold text or highlighted text. And now for completing my prompt, what I need to do is I need to give my article link. So here I'm going to use my article link from my response of Google Sheet and I'm going to map that link here in this tab. So for that, I need to use mapping and what mapping is. Mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will give a space and I'm going to open this response of Google Sheets. Now here, this is my article link. So I'm going to map this and here I have completed my prompt. Now here I have all these other details and I need to first give my max tokens. So here I have to give the maximum number of token that I want to use for generating my content. And here my token is going to be 900. Now I have these other detail of temperature, presence penalty, frequency penalty, top K, top P. So here I can fill these details, but these are not the required detail. And these are the details for adding the randomness, uniqueness in my content. But I'm not going to use these details. But if you want to use these details for creating your post unique and random, then you can fill all these details. So these are not the required details. So I'm going to leave all these tabs blank and I'm going to scroll down. And here now I need to click on save and send test request button. So I'm going to click here. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that by using perplexity AI, I have generated the content for my LinkedIn post. So I'm going to scroll down and here I have this message content tab. So I'm going to expand this and this is the content for my LinkedIn post. So here I have successfully generated the LinkedIn post from my article link that I have added in my Google sheet. And by using that article link, I have automatically summarized that and I've created a LinkedIn post by using perplexity AI. So here I have used perplexity AI and I have automatically generated the content for my LinkedIn post. Now here as I have generated the LinkedIn post content. What I need to do is I need to create a new post on my LinkedIn account. So for creating a new post on my LinkedIn account, I need to add my last section step. And here my action application is going to be LinkedIn. So I'm going to search for that. And now I'm going to select LinkedIn here. I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I want to create my post with the text. So I'm going to use this share simple text as my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect LinkedIn with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and now I need to click on connect with LinkedIn. And here as I have already logged into my LinkedIn account in my browser, so it has detected that and I have successfully connected LinkedIn with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now here for creating a new post on my LinkedIn account as a simple text, what I need to do is I need to give my author and I only have one author that is associated with my account that is Ashi, so that is already selected. Now what I need to do is I need to give my content for my post. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of perplexity AI. And here this is my content for my post. So I'm going to map this. 
and now I have mapped the content for my post. Now what I need to do is I need to select my visibility and I want to create my post as public. So I'm going to select visibility as public and now I have filled all the required details and I mapped all these details here. Now here I have mapped all these details. So as I map these details, I made all these details dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response from my previous step of Google Sheet or the response of a new article, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here in these steps are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. And automatically as I'm going to receive a new response from my Google Sheet, then I will create a new post on my LinkedIn account. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test to quit button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have created a new post on my LinkedIn account with all the details that I've generated by using Perplexity AI. So to check whether I've created a new post or not, let me take you to LinkedIn. I'm going to go to my profile and here in my profile, I'm going to scroll down and here, this is my post sections and here we can see I've just created this new post. So I'm going to open this. And here we can see that this is my post content that I've generated by using Perplexity AI. And as I've generated that content, automatically I've created a new post on my LinkedIn account. So here we can see that I have automated this process of creating new LinkedIn posts by using Perplexity AI and Pabli Connect. Now here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to add a new article detail in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using Perplexity AI, I'm going to first summarize that article and automatically after summarizing that article, I'm going to generate the content for my LinkedIn post and I'm going to do all this with the help of Perplexity. And after generating the content, automatically I'm going to create a new post on my LinkedIn account. So here all this is going to happen with the help of Pabli Connect. And as I've created this automation, every time I'm going to add a new article in my Google Sheet, it will automatically create a new post on my LinkedIn account. So to check whether this is working in real time or not, let me take you to my Google Sheet. And here in my Google Sheet, I'm going to add a new row with the article link and article title. So here we can see in the new row in my spreadsheet, I have added the new article link and the article title. So the article title is how CEOs are using generative AI for strategic planning. And here this is my article link. Now what should happen is that automatically as I've added the article link and article title in my Google Sheet, then by using Perplexity AI, it should first summarize this article. And after summarizing that article, it should generate the content for my LinkedIn post. And after generating the content for my LinkedIn post, it should automatically create a new post on my LinkedIn account. So to check whether I've created a new post on my LinkedIn account or not, let me take you to LinkedIn. I will go back to my profile. And here in my profile in the post section, we can see I have created this new post. So I'm going to open this post. And here this is my post. And this was my post that I've generated by using Perplexity AI. So automatically I've created this new post on my LinkedIn account. And here I have created this post by summarizing my article that I have added in my Google Sheet. So all this is possible because of Perplexity and Pabli Connect. And by using Perplexity AI, I have automatically created new LinkedIn post. So here I have automated this process of creating LinkedIn posts by using Perplexity and Pabli Connect. And now I need to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, I have connected Google Sheets, Perplexity AI and LinkedIn to automate my LinkedIn post with Perplexity AI. So let's summarize what we did here. First, I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Perplexity AI and my action event was create chat completion. Then in the last, I have used LinkedIn as my action application and my action event was share simple text. So this is how I have successfully created my workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.